हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल You might wonder why this guy is wearing a black cooler because I think my eyes are tired and yeah so just to cover it up for those of you who are watching me for the first time I create content about hackathons internship placements and anything that you need related to your college so make sure you subscribe to my channel and start watching this is going to be the second video about smart india hackathon in this playlist if you haven't watched the previous video go to my profile and watch the previous video so that you get the context of the video and in today's video we're going to talk about two important things one is team selection and the second one is to select a problem statement that is very important in the context of smart india hackathon because you take a look at this statistics of previous smart india hackathon out of 299352 students who were nominated for the first round only 7620 students made it to the finals of the hackathon which is just 2.5% who make it to the second round because the first reason is ultimately selecting the problem statement when you do a mistake over there then your downfall is from there itself so take a notebook sit back and let's get started why should we form a good team so i remember watching a interview of ms dhoni where the interviewer asked him like would you select a skilled person or a confident person so to which dhoni uh, replies that he would any day select a confident person because given any day any scenario like let's say even if they are going to lose a match the person who is very confident will do something like abilities capabilities to win the match he will not give up as soon as they are in that situation so having a confident person is very important rather having a skilled person saying that taking you back to the team formation for smart india hackathon so smart india hackathon will be happening for over like 3 to 4 months you will be working together right from problem statement selection to winning smart india hackathon you all will be traveling together to some other city team is a very important thing when it comes to a hackathon that to especially smart india hackathon uh, it depends on how you work together how you collaborate and work together in smart india hackathon there is a rule that at least one person should be a female so make sure you have one female at least one female member in your team that is a rule from the smart india hackathon itself and and along with that choose people from different skill set you need to choose people with different skill set but make sure at least two people in your team are good in communicating because only when the idea is well communicated it reaches the right audience i mean to the judges you can make them understand your idea only if there is a good communicator in your team so make sure you have a good communicator in your team that will add a lot of value to your team going forward in the final round so i'm going to categorize team formation into two categories so one thing that you need to see if you are very new to your college i know i get a lot of dms from the first years if i should apply for this hackathon i would recommend you to apply because you never know you can win smart india hackathon in the first year itself like i did in 2022 sih so i had a chance to win in the first year itself that can happen to you also we never know so we are going to categorize team formation into two categories one is for first years the other one is for the rest of second third and fourth year if you are from first year there are high chances that you may not be able to form a proper team because you don't know who are good in what skills so i would say form a team with your friends uh, you might feel like uh, i think i should work with him i should work with her in that perspective you can uh, ask people like bro should we go to this hackathon and you can form a team so more than the hackathon you will enjoy the whole process of traveling to different city like having fun there it'll be like a kind of uh, iv for you so that thing keep in mind and form a team if you're for first year that's the best advice that would i would give and if you're from the rest of second third or fourth year then you should follow this when forming a team so team formation generally requires at least one girl to be present that is the rule given by the ministry for forming a team in smart india hackathon so make sure you have at least one girl in your team so there are two editions for smart india hackathon as i've mentioned in the previous video there is smart india hackathon hardware and there is one for the software edition for software edition make sure you have people having a different skill set when i'm talking about skill set let's say for in the skill set for software there is ui ux 
cloud integration front and back end and firmware and also ai automation and stuff like this so make sure you have people having interest or a bit of skill in all these domains that would help you there are also different skill set for hardware edition there are skills like fabrication embedded system 3d modeling cad CAD modeling all these are also there when it comes to hardware you need to make a prototype at the end of the fifth day so you should have someone who is good in making a rapid prototyping uh, 3d printing and take the output okay so these are the basic stuffs that you need to focus on forming a team initially after having a good team you should make sure have a good bond with them like talk to them explore what they are good at and it's always very good to have an understanding of what your team is able to do like to understand their capabilities their functionalities like what they are good at because you never know the person who is sitting next to you the, your team member will be the next cto or ceo of your company and that is the best thing about hackathons i know a lot of people who have built startups from attending smart india hackathon and winning it and the most exciting part of today is that smart india hackathon problem statements are live the problem statements are live and colleges are going to conduct internal hackathons as of now the ministry of education release the problem statement so they have problem statement for software and hardware there are totally 73 problem statements for software and 28 problem statements for hardware across 17 themes this is the latest update and they have also mentioned that there will be around 200 problem statements for this year smart india hackathon which will be added in the next set of problem statements everything set and done all cool i mean you have formed a team you are going to register for the hackathon so while registering you need a problem statement right you have to select the problem statement that is going to make or break your team i mean that is going to improve your chances of getting selected because there are some strategies that you need to use while picking a problem statement so how to select a problem statement i would advise you to wait till 3 days before your college internal hackathon deadline which means let's say the deadline for registration of your internal college hackathon is on 28th of september i would suggest you to wait till 25th or 26th of september some colleges would have completed the internal hackathon earlier and would have started submitting the ideas in the portal i would recommend you to wait till the 3 days before deadline of your college hackathon why you should do this is because you'll get the insight of the submission in the website itself right now if you go to go to the website and check the problem statement number of submissions zero across all the problem statement because just now they have released right so if you wait for some time you'll get an understanding of number of submissions that are available across each problem statement so from that you will also understand that there's a lot of competition across this problem statement so you should not take that up the problem statement having the least competition you'll get more chances of getting into it so less competition more chances so that is the basic thing that you can focus let's say let's say your internal hackathon is happening just the next week or something then how you should select your problem statement one person will not be able to see all the problem statements right that is practically impossible the next thing is to select a problem statement there are around 110 problem statement as of now going through all the problem statement by one person will be tough but you are a team of six members i would recommend you to split the problem statement into six like from 1 to 20 one person will take up from 20 to 40 the other person will be taking up so like that you can split the problem statement and six of you will go through the problem statement description each of you to pick three problem statements in your category in 20 you have to select three so once you are once you start doing that you will have 18 problem statements right 18 problem statements out of some 110 you just pick problem statements looking upon the feasibility of it will you be able to do will your team be able to do but talking about feasibility with advancement in ai automation and stuff i think winning hackathons has never been easy like it is in 2025 talking about feasibility everything is getting possible in 2025 with advancement in ai feasibility should not be a matter but think of how interesting it is and will you be able to solve it with all the uh, tech skills and the opportunities which are around you will you be able to use them properly and solve the problems some problem statements will drive the energy from inside like i should be doing this you can just close your eyes and take up that problem statement just make sure that it is not very easy and very flashy that not everyone in the room will be selecting it then competition will be more for you and one big big question that i often get asked is bro i already have a project uh 
can i do that i mean can i just show it in the finals yeah you can you can do that uh, just make sure you just uh, do a setup at that point of time and you can show your already existing project just select the problem statement that are apt for the solution you are having right like just go through all the problem statements and look at the project like where it would fit in a lot of startup culture whatever is going on people build a solution and then search for the problems that are existing which is so funny right like you are creating problems for the solution that you have that should not happen so what you should do is you have a project that is fine take a look at all the problem statements and select the problem statement that would match with the project or that would match with the product the solution that you are giving if your project is not matching with anything do not force to fit in any of the problem statement and one more recommendation that i would do is go for a problem statement given by the ministry of uh, like indian ministries okay so you get a chance of funding or get a chance of problem in implementation once you win smart india hackathon that would add more value to your resume so this is just a personal suggestion so once you have a list once you have the list of 18 problem statements sit down sit down as a team i have this one motto in a team there will be conflicts there will be different interests like people would have different set of interests people would have different ideas different approach so i would recommend you to sit as a team and discuss only when you discuss there will be conflicts and difference of opinion between the six of you only if there is a conflict of interest you will focus on sorting it out once you try to sort out you will come up with new ideas and new approach for the same solution once you have a new approach you just evolve but this is going to be a loop once you evolve you should again discuss once you discuss you'll again have conflicts once you have the conflicts again you'll be sorting it out and you'll be evolving so that is the whole cycle and whole process of developing a product as a team and this is a good ideation phase if you watch this video till now and if you liked it so far thanks for watching and stay tuned and i personally do one on one mentorship for smart india hackathon i have given the link in the description you can go check it out and book your session why personalize one on one session because we'll be addressing how to select a problem statement this is a general video but if you want me to sit with you and help you pick a problem statement give you an approach on how you can solve it you can make sure you can book this session over here and thanks for watching and bye